Welcome back to our 30-day journey. Today, we're going to be revisiting an old friend, vetiver. So grab your vetiver and I'll see you back here. Right, here we are, you, me, and vetiver. If you don't have vetiver, you can use a tree oil. A cedar wood would be nice, a sandalwood. But if you have a rooty oil, which vetiver is, that would be the first choice because what we're doing today is, <laughs> this sounds kind of funny to say, what we're doing today is lingering. We're lingering. You might think, Tiffany, why in the heck would I want to linger? And what does this have to do with embodying true wealth? When it comes to the full manifestation of what we say that we want, whether it's a change in our health or a change in our in a relationship dynamic or a change in, in the amount of money that's in our bank account, we will often get so far on that path, on that journey, and then something will happen that we experience as a trigger. And by trigger, I mean that it opens up a portal to things that have happened in the past. And then some pain or some fear or unresolved trauma from the past floods into the present. And then we shut down because at least for most beings, there isn't an awareness that a trigger just happened, that something from the past is now flooded into the present, and that we actually have to slow down. Slow way down and linger, linger. Stay with ourselves as we move through and integrate and release whatever it is that's happening right now. And if we don't do that, that's when we say we feel stuck. That's when we can spend five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years in a space, in a zone, getting the same kinds of results that we don't really want anymore, but we don't know how to do it differently. This ability to choose ourselves when we feel restless, when we feel triggered, when we don't feel like we're going to be okay. You know, that's the hardest time to actually choose ourselves. And it's the most important time to choose ourselves when we're all in a kerfuffle, when our nervous system is screaming, run for the hills, you're not okay, keep it safe, do this, do that, to choose union with ourselves and to linger for just the right amount of time, to come into union with your own being, with your own heart, with your own soul. We are not able to receive that which we've been asking for for any area of our life if we're not with ourselves. When we're with ourselves, present, heart filled, open, and healthfully protected, open and healthfully protected, open to receive and the ability to sort and discern what we want to let in and what we don't. That all requires that we presence with ourselves and that we stay, that we linger in those moments when we want to shoot out of our being, shoot out of our body, run away, avoid the hard conversation, avoid the hard decision. Okay. Vetiver. We are actually going to place a drop of vetiver right over that point CV17 on the center of the chest. We've worked with this one before. The name of that point is Primordial Child. It both con contains, it's not the most ideal word, but holds the vibration of innocence and spontaneity, our original innocence and spontaneity, 
and it also is the place from which the vibration of innocence and spontaneity can move into our meridian circulation. So when we contact this point with our light touch, we're actually activating that energy of innocence and spontaneity. And don't worry, when we activate this as adults, it's not like it's going to make us somehow you know, unhelpfully naive and open and at risk of being taken advantage of. It means that that activation of the innocence and spontaneity melts the crusties off our heart, the cynicism and the bitterness and all the stuff that's been created by regret and resentment over our life can soften and melt and something else can reveal itself to us. I have my vetiver, do you? I'm gonna slide under here, placing that over CB17 and let's sit together. and the energetic of rooting, of rooting. And we are activating that energetic right in our heart center to be rooted in our hearts, to be rooted in our desires. to be rooted in our knowings and to let our being drop in right now. You don't have to hold up all of the thought forms with your mind. The world will not fall apart if you don't remember the to-do list. The world won't fall apart if you stop worrying about those things that you've been worrying about for so long you forgot you were even worrying about them. Root in your being right now and let things be reordered. Lingering with yourself. Hello, self. self, receive yourself. Delight in receiving yourself right now. Hello, self. Yes, yes, yes. Take all the time that you need and want be in that zone with the contact when you're ready, taking a nice inhalation. You deserve to be stayed with. Lingering with yourself will begin to feel better and better and better and more luscious and more wonderful. Practice this, especially, especially if it felt uncomfortable to you. Practice it. From my heart to yours. Do like and share this video if you've enjoyed it. And I can't wait to see you tomorrow.